The Minister for Education, Richard Bruton, has said third level education is set to receive its first significant increase in funding after almost a decade of cuts in the 2017 budget. He has said an additional 36 million will be allocated in 2017 and a further 17 million the following year. We asked students where they would like to see the money best spent. Mm, I don't know, I suppose like 36 million between all our universities, I don't know if that's enough. I know all the Irish universities have fallen in the rankings, like, uh, and they have done kind of slid, slid down over the last few years, so I don't know if that'll be enough to, to keep us afloat. But um, yeah, I, I just like to probably go into, I'm from a science background myself, so I like to go and kind of research and that kind of area. It could probably, I mean, in, being in Dublin anyway, I know as a student, accommodation's a big issue. Accommodation needs to be sorted because other, because people are like are being abused by landlords and stuff like that. Uh, I think mental health services as well need to be improved because just for some people who are suffering there's just nothing there for them. Another area they felt personally affected by was the incoming sugar tax as well as the 50 cent increase in cigarette packets. And we're hoping that like, by raising the price continuously that eventually that will encourage my man and everyone else to stop. Because it's gone to the point where we're all trying, they've tried all the quick stuff. But hopefully if it gets too expensive they won't be able to keep it up. And that'll make a difference. Well I spoke to my family will be involved in uh, convenience stores and that sort of end. So the sugar tax is gonna have an effect on us in a roundabout way. I don't agree with it. I think that the sugar tax is not gonna solve the problem. I think the problem is a, a lifestyle problem. It's about education of um, you know how to train properly, how to how to eat healthy, I don't think putting a tax on it is going to make a blind bit of difference. Liam Ashton, DCU TV News.